This week I posted something online about myself, consent and autism. And it threw up a lot of things and so I thought I would come on and tell you the thing I posted and then tell you some of the other things that came up. Uh, so the thing I posted was about a medical appointment that I had and it was going to involve an intimate examination which I am a middle-aged woman I have smear tests I have had children um, having an intimate exam from a medical professional is not an unusual experience for me but in this particular one something happened that I found very shocking at the time which was that I was just told take 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 your bottom half off I'm going to examine you now and I wasn't asked so in all of the other ones anytime I've been for a smear test anytime I've had a, a check for as part of my maternity care or for, you know for whatever reason the person has always said do you mind if I or is it okay if I or it, it's been very lightweight you know requests but at every appointment there has been the opportunity for me to consent to that exam and in this appointment that wasn't there and I was shocked to be instructed but I followed the instructions because that's what I had been expecting from the appointment all along and I, I took off the clothes from my bottom half and I hopped up on the bed and as I lay down on the bed I lay down into all the memories of when people have had control over my body and I haven't all the times when I did as other people said all the times when it was someone else's choice and not mine and there's plenty of them I mean there's plenty of them for, for all sorts of reasons it's an intersectional experience isn't there so there's plenty of them because I'm female and you're more likely to have had those experiences if you're female there's plenty of them because I'm of a particular age and if you're in the 90s you know you're more likely to have had those experiences in the 90s than happily you are in the noughties um, and I'm more likely to have had those experiences because I'm autistic the, the stats show that autistic children are two to three times more likely to experience sexual abuse than non-autistic children um, autistic women are far more likely to have been sexually assaulted than non-autistic women and so I have plenty of those memories and I left the appointment and I thought that was not okay and I put in a complaint which is it takes a bit of doing but my rationale for putting in the complaint was what if it had happened to somebody younger than me or someone more vulnerable than me or someone with more of those memories than I have you know what then it's important that people ask for consent even if it is just the lightweight do you mind if is it all right is it okay if the opportunity cons to consent it's like it's it's important for everybody but the risk of missing it is different for different populations and so the more vulnerable 
you are, the more significant a risk you face. You know, for somebody, imagine somebody, I can't imagine. Maybe there is, maybe there is somebody who hasn't had any of these horrible experiences who, for them, they lie down on that bed and it's just a sort of slight rudeness from the doctor that they didn't ask. But other than that, they don't mind. Um, all the way to, you know, what if it had, what if I had been a victim of something very, very serious and that that missed consent was triggering for all of those things. And so my post was to flag up, my original post was to flag up that asking for consent is really important and it is especially important for vulnerable populations. <laughs> but that original post led to a load of other stuff and I'll, I'll talk about that in my next video.